Friends, in the previous session, we have seen the usage of this identity. In this session, we will see some common mistakes that can occur while using this identity. Look at the first question. Can you tell me the correct option? The correct option is B. Some of you might have got option A as the answer. Let us see why. We know that we have to use this identity in order to find the answer. But what should we take in the place of A and B? This is where we make a mistake. We take A as X and B as Y. So, we get this. Now, we just multiply these coefficients like this. So, we get option A as the answer. But this is an incorrect answer. We should take A as 3X and B as 2Y. Solving this identity, we get this as answer. Therefore, the correct option is B. So, we should be careful to ensure that the square of the coefficients are also kept in mind along with the variables. Look at the next question. Can you solve this expression? For solving such type of expressions, we have studied these identities. Which of these identities can be used to solve this? Currently, it looks like this expression doesn't fit into any of these identities. But does this mean we cannot solve this using an identity? No, it's not like this. We can solve this using this identity. Let us see how. We can simply rearrange the second bracket like this. Now, if we look at this, we can say that our expression is in the form of this. In A plus B, A minus B, A is 2C and B is 3D. Now, using this identity, we can solve this expression. Hence, the answer can be given as these two terms. So, in the given expression, we should always check if the terms can be rearranged so that it can be written in the form of standard identity. In this session, we have seen some common mistakes that can occur while using this identity.